Alright, welcome to another quick video tutorial, and this one's going to be on hotkeys and things like that. So, the first one I want to show you, and this video, it's going to be about improving the speed of your gameplay without making you really frantic around the map and whatnot. So, first one I want to say, scout cover, you can tell units where to go in one big motion. So, with this, all you have to do is select the unit you want to move, hold down left shift key, and move your mouse around and right click where you want that unit to go. So in this case we're going to make him scout a nice arc around what we've seen already and as soon as you're done take your hand off left shift right click and your scout will run around the map in that order where I put the flags. So that's just a really quick simple thing to note. You can do that with any Ready unit like this yeah, villager, we'll make correct. him go over there, actually yeah, we'll make yeah, him correct. do a more yeah. interesting correct. pattern because hell why not let's make him walk so that's probably the first thing that I really wanted to show about creating, well, making your game go faster. Uh, not go faster, but play speed faster. So next thing is as well building buildings. Ready. B E hotkey for house. Fairly simple. Faster than clicking it like that. So as we saw, I created one like that. That took a little bit of time. Hitting B E takes absolutely nothing. So, before we go on with this, because I'll create another arc with this scout, but there's something I want to show quickly. Uh, lots of people, I was surprised in beginners how many people didn't know this. Uh, and actually, I just want to throw a quick thing at you. RTS, real-time strategy, time, saving as much time as possible will make you a better player. That's just a good way to look at it, in my opinion. I'll just say that now before I forget. So, this annoys the hell out of me when I see someone do this that I know, like friends and things like that. Why do you create this giant box around this one unit when you could simply just click on it? And uh, this will actually be really interesting because it will show you just how precise you are with your map. Well, your mouse. Doing something like that, that's not precise at all. You know, that's alright, but not as precise, but just coming down, clicking on it. Fairly quick, and it really shows you how precise you are with your keyboard. Anyway, so when grouping units. I'm actually going to do this quickly because I'm really into this, like, it, it just annoys me the hell out of me when I see friends and things do this. Uh, especially on streams, some people uh, who are playing on streams to get better in things do it, and I'm not saying it's bad, but I just personally don't like it. So when people do this and they drag a massive box around those units there, and they go, oh, I want to add that scout onto this, hold down left shift and draw another big box. That just annoys the hell out of me. So the thing is that you can do, the smaller the box, the quicker it's going to be, right? Everybody knows that. That's just logic. And then when you finish this, click on the scout. Hold down shift, click on the scout, it'll add it to the group. There we go. That's something really simple I just wanted to cover. It should help speed up your game by those few little seconds. Just, it may only be a few seconds over the entire game, but it's enough to make a difference. So, next thing I want to talk about is assigning your units a number. And this is really helpful. So, what you do is, you drag a massive box around your scout, because you're practicing not to do that. Just a little one, click on it, whatever the hell you want to do. And you'll hold down control, and you'll hit a number. Doesn't particularly matter what one it is, as long as it's one you're comfortable with. And I'm just going to make it one, because we're saying the, no, well, the word one a lot. So Now, this unit is controlled, or assigned, to group one. And that is triggered by the one key. So if I hit 1 now, it'll take me to my scout, or it'll select my scout as such. If I'm over here, it'll just select it. Something really interesting to note that a lot of players don't know, if you're over here, hit it twice really quickly, it'll take you to it. So that's really helpful. So say I'm over here scouting a bit, I'm, you know, I'm scouting over here. Scout could have been in trouble. No, it's on full health, still full health. Oh, got to keep making those unit marks and just hit that double 1. Bring you over here, use your control, you know, move them over here how you want to. As well, of course, works for one unit. It works for multiples. So you can hit control 2 there. These villages will Ready. now be assigned yes. to a group 2. And again, Mandar. hitting 2 will center you in on them. Fair enough. I think it's pretty easy to grasp. It's not a hard thing to grasp. Uh, as long as you can understand what I'm talking about. So we've covered buildings. Every Willem. unit in the game Willem. has a hotkey. That's really interesting to know who I'm playing as. I'm playing as Britons. And they're castle units are the Longbowman and the Petard. Longbowman is T, which is really interesting, so you'd go to your castle, and then you'd hit T, and that'll just create you a Longbow. If you wanted a Petard, you'd go to your castle, hit P, that'll give you a Petard. 
So there you go, and I'll explain, I'll show that really quickly, actually I'm just trying to collect my sheep here because I want to show you something really important. But if you go to your town center, you want to create a unit, hit that, there we go. And as well, hit that H, sent to you in on your town center by clicking it twice really quickly. Thing that most players get though, and I want to say this before I forget it again, if you're over here scouting and you hit H, you don't want to be away from your scout. Nobody does. So what a lot of players tend to do is they'll number their town center with a number that feels most comfortable for them. In this case, it'll be three because I've used one and two already. And you'll be over here scouting and you'll be like, am I creating a villager? What? I'm not. Hit C. Go back to your scouting. Makes sense. Speeds you up. We're all happy. And of course, the faster you're playing, generally the better you'll do. And of course, villager hotkey being C. And I have a lot of resources at the moment just because I'm doing this in Can custom scenario, believe it or not. And so let's really hit something Mandarten. here. Mandarten. Building lumber camps, BZ. Bulden. Building gold camps, BG. Bulden. Or want to be mining camp, more like. Uh, building mill, BI. Bulden. And a building farm, BF, once you've got that mill up. And of course, you can queue farms. Most people do know this, because uh, when you get into that late game, you really get annoyed when all your farms start to go out. But yeah, you can queue farms. So, there we go. That's interesting. Lots of people are good with that. As well, a thing that's really interesting, I've seen this in some hotkey makeups, I'm going to try and find some, and I'll put them in the description to the video, is a lot of people actually try and make the Palisade key as quick reachable as possible. BB is currently barracks. I've seen some people go make that uh, palisade just due to the fact you see some militia coming in and if you hit BB it's really quickly to get your structure up there. So you can wall yourself off really quickly I guess is the moral for that story. So it's really about finding hotkeys that suit you. I do believe um, you'll find this interesting actually. Doubt actually uses standard hotkeys just with the mixed uh, stable and um, smith which is really interesting. So hopefully that just helps you a little bit better. So, let's start putting this into practice a little, and I'll just send all these villagers back to here to get the sheep, because, well, it's nice. So, we've got all our villagers over here. We'll say we're going to assign them to 2. We'll assign you to a 1, if I hold control down. And we want to lure our boar. So, this is just going to be a quick demonstration. We'll come over here. We'll start luring our boar. I'll be like, shoot it twice. Come back to the town center. And then we'll be like, alright, we want to select these villagers to kill the boar. Hit 2, drop off. And naturally, I've done this a little bit quick, but there, go back to one, they're shooting, they're shooting, bring him in here. Hopefully, it won't take too much damage now, this ball will run around there. There we go! Perfect! Not too much hassle there. Then what do we do with our ended villager? BF, build a farm. So good! That's happy, everyone's happy with hotkeys. Hopefully, that explained enough. I might actually build a barracks quickly to explain formations as well, because formations are something that's really underrated, especially versus Manganels, they are so crucial. And another thing I want to kind of as well, and you'll see me doing this a lot, just because of the fact I am in commentator mode most of the time, because I don't play a lot at the moment, but you'll see me dragging around the map like this. This is not good at all. Dragging slows you down. And I'm going to send my scout out here, because I'll show you exactly what I mean. Dragging just slows you down so much, and I should be able to get some militia out soon, actually. But, fact is, hopefully everyone's cool with those hotkeys that have been through now. So that's really interesting. So, there we go. so my scout's all the way out here if I want to drag after him. I can. Takes a bit of time. The best thing you can do is start getting used to using the minimap. Minimap is such a good tool to have. So if you want to go somewhere, click there. So much quicker than dragging. It's hard to get used to at first. I mean, if you want to go from here to like your barracks, that's okay to drag. Don't be like... Eh try to click on it, but if you want to get to a general area, this other way from your thing, use, well, click around, and use that hotkey key to take you back to your town center. Pretty simple, and again, Gather you can always come up here to your scout, and you can send yourself in on that group that you've got down here. Alright, so that's that covered. Click on the minimap, don't scroll. Scrolling bad in big areas. So, militia. We want to create five militia. Now, lots of people should know this. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest hotkeys in the game. Hold down shift, click the unit, you'll build five. Simple. Only thing is though, hold down shift, get rid of them, it'll only get rid of one at a time. So that's the only bad thing about that, if you are trying to create like five halberdiers and you misclick and create five militia, 
That's always really annoying to try and get rid of. I've had that happen to me before, and it annoys the hell out of you. So, we'll come here, and we'll start having a look at these positions, actually. And, before we go any further... Oh, you can't get them with these guys. Bugger. I thought I might have just been able to get away with it, but it looks like I'm going to have to go into archers. So, what I'm going to do... Ah, yes, as long as I have more, I'm happy. There we go. Interesting. So, whenever you want to do something, if you hover your mouse over something, it'll show you the hotkey. For instance, the hotkey to a villager is C. The hotkey to militia is S. Fair enough. And of course, if you put on the information tab, it's still there, it's just in the bottom, it's got hotkey, dot dot, S. Depends how you want to look at it. So, let's look at formations. I'll create this last militia, actually. I don't think there's a lot else to look at while we're doing this. Don't think I've got anything left to talk about hotkey-wise. But, alright, there we go. So we've got our militia, we've got our five, and we'll control them to group one, just because we like to do that. And let's have a look at these guys. Alright, first thing we've got is aggressive stance, A. Defensive stance, D. Attack, stand ground, N. And no attack, O. Fairly simple. So say you want to move your units across the map. You want them in aggressive. So you'll just move them out like this. And then you'll get to where you want. So you want to hit stand ground. Hit N, they'll go on to stand ground. Hit D, they'll play in defensive. Probably more common with melee units like this. Something that's really important though is formations. Which are underused a lot in lower level games. Formations are so helpful. Line formation, being Q. Already in it. Box formation, W, then we've got staggered formation, E, and then we've got flank formation, F, also known as the split. So if we come back to a line formation, Q, this is really common, you'll see this with archers, if you watch a lot of my commentaries you'll see this as well, you'll see the manganel take a shot, and then they'll split, go back together, and then you go, oh no, another manganel, then they'll split them again, they'll miss, then they'll come back together. Especially seen in galley wars as well, also known as like galley dancing, I think some people call it. But there you go, you can split quite easily with these hotkeys, it just makes it really quick. Another thing as well is patrolling. Lots of people ask for the attack move, because naturally if you move a unit somewhere and it gets attacked, it won't do anything. If you use patrol, it'll do that. It's essentially attack move of the game. So instead of clicking down here and clicking over here, Z, click where you want them. Fair enough. Other thing as well, with this is you'll see they stand like they move in a group and they bump off each other and whatnot if you try and do this. If you use Z, they walk through each other. Simple enough. It's pretty interesting. It kind of just gets rid of that. So, that's really interesting as well. I hope this has been enough to cover hotkeys, because it is a really diverse topic. Like I said, I will try and put some links to some common ones in there. And I hope this was enough, honestly, because hotkeys, like I've said, is a really, really big topic to try and cover. Should be good, though. I think I've explained everything. Alright, so thanks.